Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and by request uh, a lot of people seem to want to learn Python so I'm going to start a Python tutorial series but in order to use it we must download it so go to python.org and we can go over to this downloads button um, you can go down to your specific operating system if you want I'll just click downloads and I will actually want to go back and just click windows and I'm just going to get the latest version, Python 3. And let's download that. All right, there we go. Download. And let's see. I'm going to just get this Windows 64-bit uh, MSI installer. And if you have a Mac, you might want to go up here. I'm just going to download this right here. Download. And if you see right here, this is the 32 bit installer. So it's going to take a second to download. I may pause the video. Alright, welcome back. That only took a few, about 20 seconds, but I didn't want to have just a blank screen on the computer, so without me talking. So just open that up hit run okay and now I'm just going to say install for all users I'm the only one that uses this computer next um, just leave everything pretty much default next this may take a few minutes and it will install alright now we have this a uh, box popped up. It just says that the complete the Python installer. Let's say finish. And if you go into your uh, program files and look at uh, where you put it, so it'd be for me C, and then it's Python 34, and you have all of these, and you have your uh, Python um, command prompt window right here. And uh, that's not the command prompt that I'm going to want to use, but you can use it if you want, like 5 plus 5, and you get 10, and so on. But let me find, I'm just going to search right here, go search right here and say Python, and here we go, Python idle. Hopefully that's the right one, because I just deleted a version off my computer. There we go. So okay so now this is our Python shell this is where we can do a lot of coding if we want you could also pull up notepad plus plus or have some type of uh, plug into Eclipse called PyDev you can use um, my mind just went blank what is it called I'll come to it later but anyways to just print out hello world to the screen all you gotta do is say print and then in parentheses we put a string, and you can use single quotes or double quotes. That uh, Python treats it the same, so it's very loosely typed. There's a lot of freedom, and that's why I believe people like Python so much. Is it's very user friendly and very human readable. So let's just print out hello. I'll say hello Python world. Hello Python world. And if you hit enter it prints it right there so that is the introduction to python and downloading it onto your computer and there will be plenty more python videos to come in the future so please join me and subscribe below thank you guys